Hey guys, Daily Tech here with another quick VR tutorial, and this time it's for one of the most amazing add-ons I've run into yet for Steam VR. This is the Open VR Advanced Settings. What this does, this gives you full access to everything you could think about in Steam VR right from the home screen. Now this add-on is going to be good for any VR system you might have. So if you have the Oculus Rift, HTC Vive, or if you're using RiftCat, all of those systems are going to make great use of this. Even if your VR system doesn't have any kind of motion controllers, there are still settings that are going to help you out a lot, and it's also accessible from the desktop if needed. Now this is an open source program that sadly I just found not too long ago, because there's about a thousand things that could have been sped way up if I had this earlier. Now keep in mind, this doesn't give you any kind of cheats or any kind of advantage in any games. It just gives you a way better control over how everything looks and how everything works. Now if this is your first time to my channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe. I've got a ton of VR content already recorded and more to come. Now installing this is pretty simple. All you need to do is visit the link in the description, scroll down until you see the installer EXE, download it, then run it. Once everything's installed, that's all you need to do. You're ready to go. All right, now that we've got everything installed, we've got Steam VR back up and running. If you look down, you'll see that you get a new button here, Advanced Settings. So if you click on that, here's kind of your little intro screen or your little uh, home screen here. You select your chaperone profile. This is gonna select different options you might have made for your chaperone already. And uh, if you look on the left side, so we'll go over these really quickly. I'm not gonna get into huge detail, but uh, you, you can really just play with it as you go along. So super sampling here is one of the biggest things is that um, if, if any of your games are you know really gentle on your system, you can always crank this up a little bit and that's going to give you a little bit more clarity on your screen. Uh, thing is, keep in mind this asterisk that you see here, that means you're going to need to restart Steam VR, and they do give you a button right there for it. So if you want to switch it, it's kind of on the fly, but a little bit delayed really. Um, also asynchronous rate projection, you guys know what that is, I hope, and uh, these different settings here. So let's go back. And now here's the chaperone. This is really interesting. You can set your own profiles. Now you can make the chaperone more visible or you can make it less visible so you hide a little bit more. So once you get used to your play area, you can start turning your chaperone down a little bit more and that way it doesn't interfere with the game as much. Uh, also your fade distance. You can have it fade in, uh, I guess your distance that it starts fading is a little bit shorter. So that way you get a little bit closer even before it starts showing up. And then as far as the height, this is just how high that chaperone stands up. So really you don't need that very high at all. So you can always turn that rate down. I wouldn't say it's zero, but. <laughs> um, let's see what else we got here. Well, let's go back. So that's it for the chaperone. Then you can also save these profiles too. So that's kind of a, a cool feature. Uh, play space, you can adjust your play space a little bit. So your actual room setup, you can adjust this now, which is which is pretty cool. You can also change, you can rotate the play space. So that way, see as I click here, you can see it rotates around wherever it went. Uh, let's go back to zero. Hold on, hold on. Let me get myself straightened out here. All right, there we go. Um, so that's pretty straightforward. Uh, going down floor fix. This is actually one of my favorite things. Um, actually, sorry, I'm not sure why this is stuttering so much. This is really kind of all over the place here. Um, but for fixing the floor, this is really cool because I do switch between this and my DK2 and they have different head heights and uh, it makes the controllers go kind of all over the place. So what you can do is you can just click on Fix Floor. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Put one controller on the floor. And then Fix Floor. And that way, where that controller is, that's where it's gonna mark the floor. So now, you should be able to just pick that up. 
and we're ready to go. That was probably my favorite feature of this uh, by a landslide. Some audio settings here, things that you can change where the audio playback is going and things like that. Also your microphone, you can select what microphone you want to record, which is uh, kind of a neat feature too. And then let's look back. Uh, if you have Revive installed, different Revive uh, options here. Now, I'm not the best with Revive. I'm still sort of new to this myself, but you do have your different features here as far as changing that. Um, the grip button mode, this is because it is a little bit different. I haven't had a chance to play with these. All right, let's go back. So looking down here further, we have my favorite feature in here is actually the alarm clock. So you can set different uh, times here. So you can add one hour. So for example, if you want to limit yourself to one hour of play, uh, you could just put in one hour and then start your alarm clock and that's fine. Uh, you can go up by five minutes at a time. And that way, you know, you don't really lose track of time when you're still playing VR. If you have to go to work or something like that, you just set your alarm clock and then you can just play without having to worry about checking the time. So that's really cool. Then you also have your overlay here. So uh, for the alarm, I think. <laughs> and then uh, looking down, you got some accessibility options, which are just to adjust your height. So this way here, you can make yourself just a wee bit taller if need be, or whatever have you. And, uh, and that's it. Pretty straightforward. And just some statistics here. So as far as how far you've moved, uh, I guess you could use this as like a workout counter. I don't know, <laughs> who knows. But uh, as far as rotations, this is really cool. So if you're not using something that's wireless, HMD rotations, I'll turn right around. We'll see what happens here. Uh, okay, hold on. Okay, so see it says one full rotation there. And if I do another one, there we go, now we got two full rotations here. So you can tell if you're starting to get yourself a little bit tangled up or anything like that, which I I don't know how much use that's gonna be because you have to come to the screen, you can just go like this and take a look, but um, I don't know, if you get your cord tangled around you and you don't wanna take your headset off for a second, this will help out. Now considering that this is free, it gives you full control of your VR setup and it integrates so well into Steam VR. There is absolutely no reason to not try this out. So I'd like to give a huge thanks to everyone who helped develop this. You guys have done an amazing job so far and I can't wait to see what else you have for us down the road. Well that's about it for now, so thanks for watching and don't forget to leave this video a like and check out more of my content listed here. We'll see you next time.